Manning, a backup to Tim Couch, started eight games one season ago. First down and 10, ball at the Buffalo 20-yard line. Shelton and McGahee in the backfield. Here's Willis, not a lot of room, and he goes down. Barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. The Buffalo Bills starting offense brought to you by Laidlaw Charter Services. Some new faces on the offensive line. Reyes and Fowler, the left guard and center. Let's take a look at the backs and receivers. Shelton, the fullback, McGahee coming off a 1,000-yard season. Royal is the tight end with Reed and Lee Evans at the wide receiver position. Second down and 10 at the 20. Here's McGahee catching it out of the backfield. And he dances out of bounds at the 25-yard line. That brings us to the Tim Hortons Panthers defense. Julius Peppers, he's a pro bowler. Maya K. Kimoyatu comes over from Baltimore. Jenkins and Michael Rucker, another great pass rusher. The linebackers, Dan Morgan out of Miami in the middle. Diggs and Davis are the outside linebackers with Gamble and Lucas in the corners. Sean Williams, the former Giant, and Branch is the free safety. Third down and three at the 27-yard line. Holcomb out of the shotgun. Holcomb, and he is sacked by, guess who? Julius Peppers at the 19. Past years has been the O-line. Dick Geron feels like he's got a good group. They've got five guys they're ready to go into the season with. That hasn't been the case in past training camps. They've been struggling and shifting guys around, finding positions, but right now they've got five guys that they're going to go into the season with if they can stay healthy. First down at the 19, Willis McGahee. And McGahee gets up to the 22-yard line. And when you talk about that offensive line, Reyes, the left guard, was here in Carolina last year. Melvin Fowler in Minnesota last year. He's the center, so there's some changes there. And then there's Jason Peters, the former tight end in college, now playing right tackle, and they're very high on him. Very much so. He physically dominates everybody he plays against, but he's against a great one on the outside tonight. Second down and seven. McGahee once again looking for some room, and he gets close to the 25-yard line. This offensive line has got some questions, and Peters is a guy that they really look to anchor the whole inside. And then on the right side, Chris Valerial is inside of him. Valerial has been a little bit injury-ridden in the last few years. They're hoping he can get through the 16-game season. His experience and his tenacity really anchor Peters on the outside. And Melvin Fowler, who they brought in this year as a free agent, they really like his athleticism and his ability to call out the defenses and make the calls down inside. So they feel real good about the five guys they've got in there. Third down and five at the 24. Holcomb with time this time. Fires and it's caught. Beautiful reception by Roscoe Parrish. But a flag has been thrown on the play. And it's in the Buffalo backfield. Maybe a holding penalty. Holding, offense, number 70, 10-yard penalty. And it will be a holding Replay penalty called down. against Buffalo. This is going to go against Reyes right at the bottom of the screen. Actually, Jason Peters. They called it on 70, but it was actually Peters on the outside at the top against Pepper. And this front four of Carolina is going to cause a lot of problems for a lot of teams this year, and the Buffalo Bills are, are going to have to take it in this first game. This is a good team to go against in the preseason because you're not going to get any breaks. Makes it third down and 15. McGahee in the backfield. Holcomb sets up, dumps it off to Willis McGahee. He tries to make something happen after the catch. Nothing doing. McGahee taken down by Chris Gamble. Make that show call. 877-BB-TIX. Buffalo Bills football be there. Kelly Holcomb still in at quarterback. It's been a struggle so far for this Bills offense. First down and 10 at the 16. And the Bills run it. McGahee over the right side. Stopped by Maya K. Kimoyatu. Make that Gates. And we knew Willis McGahee was not going to get too much time 
today. They they pulled him out early, which you, know, you knew was going to happen. They're going to expect Willis McGahee to carry the ball over 300 times this season. Lionel Gates is going to get a look tonight and get a lot of carries. It's going to be a long night for Lionel Gates and Anthony Thomas. Now hold them oh. as that was picked off. Ken Lucas, touchdown. Holcomb expected his receiver Robert Royal to come back towards the line of scrimmage and you'll see there he just didn't get it done did not see the defender on the outside Ken Lucas just stepped right in front of Royal and that's a throw that I think Kelly Holcomb wishes he could have back he threw that right out into the coverage had no shot at completing that pass Kelly Holcomb throwing an interception return for a touchdown. Extra point is up and good. And the Panthers take a 14 to nothing lead. We'll be back on the.